What is going on everybody? How's everyone doing today? It is January 5th, 2023. It's 8.52 in the morning. It just started snowing, you guys, after it was supposed to start at midnight last night. What do you know? Just started snowing. So it's been drizzling all night long. Well, since about four in the morning. But yeah, this is, this is what we got going on here now big beautiful snowflakes it is so pretty you guys and uh i'm really glad to see you guys today hope you guys are having a good one i'm a little bit tired but i'm excited to do this and uh yeah i think we're gonna i don't know how far we're gonna do this drive we'll see we shall see so you guys remember the predictions yesterday of about what it was we're supposed to get a foot of snow today and i was telling everyone that i'm predicting four inches well now i'm predicting two inches total isn't that insane guys how wrong it is every time like every time obviously the day is not over so i i could be wrong but you guys know i'm not you know i'm not wrong here I see two inches of snow coming down today. That's it. That's all. And my friend drove all the way from Orange County to bring his kids up here to, to see it snowing. So I'm really disappointed. But once again, it, it could happen. It could happen. I just got to keep a positive attitude. Even Ben from Ben's Weather was skeptical about this. talking about it's probably going to be a lot more rain so let's get the map out here but yeah it's 34 degrees 8 54 a.m in the big bear california area folks it is snowing big beautiful snowflakes and i mean big beautiful snowflakes yo yo hey yo perfect timing for the resort to open so that's that's good oh yeah oh yeah you guys have no idea what i do for this channel every hour on the hour i have my alarm set when we have storms like this so oh my wife is so sweet she's asking me if i want anything from mcdonald's thanks baby i'm good i am good just get home safe and sound okay i love you honey Cut through the village. Cut through the village. The village. Okay, the snowflakes are thinning out in terms of the size of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the Weather Channel app real quick and show you guys what what he says, huh? What he says. Huh? Okay, so this is a good sign all that snow likely and a lot of it's going to be really heavy so that's freaking great we like to see that so look next six hours next so this even says in the next 48 hours we could get four inches of snow now we're getting sleet you guys look it's t starting to sleet you see or grapple whatever you guys want to call it but it's bouncing off the windshield. I don't like this weather. I don't like grapple or sleet, but we get that so often up here. So very often. There's 
no one in the village. Wow, this is, look at guys, this is beautiful. This is like Armageddon over here. Hey, Channel 5, how you doing? Number Johnny 5, stay alive, Johnny 5. I should turn around and be like, bro, you need to interview me. I'm Big Bear Weather. I am the science. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to go there. I try to avoid politics at all costs. Okay. Boom shakalaka. Here we go. That guy looked miserable too. For Channel 5 News. So, Channel 5 News used to contact me from the newsroom and ask me to send them like a 30 second clip. Most storms. And I would. This was years ago also. Before I even became popular on here. Alright, no more sleet, you guys. It's back to snow. I think we're gonna do a lake tour, guys. I just think, I feel like we just gotta do it. This guy's a long way from the ski resort. He's got a walk, he's got a heck of a walk. But you know what, this is beautiful weather. I don't mind walking. Well, actually, this is really wet snow. I mean, really wet snow. So walking in, it's not too much fun, I guess. But. but I can't believe it's snowing, guys. This is awesome. As I said, all night long, from about 3.34 in the morning, it was drizzling rain. A lot of our snow accumulating potential is has gone by the wayside. And the reason we go this direction a lot when we go around the lake is because we're trying to avoid traffic. All the cars are coming into town right now, so we wanna go the opposite direction. Yeah, that was really weird. We just got um, one minute of sleep. One minute of sleep. And the further we go this way, the more snow there should be, even though everything just started. So we shall see. Here's a place on the left-hand side where you can take your kids sledding. It's not open yet. There's no one up there. So get your buns up there and take your kids sledding. Oh yeah. I know that was a horrible view, so forgive me for that. Conditions are not going to be too much fun to drive in, only because it's a slushy type of a snow again. So I want you guys to be very cautious of that. <clears throat> let me uh, call my friend to let him know.
call me back. Bye. And my friend Casey, he's the only person that I still stay in touch with from when I was a little kid. And uh, he sometimes, <laughs> he sometimes knows it all, you know, right? Like, uh, um, and he was arguing with me that there's going to be a lot of snow from this storm and, and uh, so much other stuff about this snow. And I'm not trying to like call him to say like I told you so because I'm <laughs> I'm not like that. But um, I was calling just to make sure that he's he's on his way because he said that they were gonna try to get up here by like 6:30 this morning. And look, there is more snow over here like usual. And then I don't know what's going on here. Maybe the guy slid out. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, he's trying to turn right into the driveway. There you go. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, it doesn't take much snow to make it a pain in the butt up here. It really does not. So we're passing through Boulder Bay right now. And here's Boulder Bay Park. Tell me it's open for the public, please. Why would they have these cones blocking the park? Oh my gosh, it's closed. That doesn't make any sense to me. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Guys, if you have a way to get in there, please go in there and enjoy yourselves because it's so beautiful, especially when it's snowing. How can we take away any tourist stuff? Yeah, there's a lot more snow over here on the road. The temperature has dropped down to 33, so that's good. I don't think it's gonna get any colder than that today. I really don't. It doesn't appear to be too much traffic coming into town right now either. I'm very surprised. Maybe some of that is due to it's the very end of the holiday and also the forecast was wrong. Uh-oh. They, uh, a lot of people were probably too scared to drive up because of the potential for so much snow. And I was telling people to be super super cautious I was really worried about you guys coming up today okay we need to go very slow through here now because as I said these roads are so slushy it's so dangerous oh but this is so beautiful oh my gosh the, yeah this is bad right now this is really bad right now But we've got our straight snow tires, which does help an awful lot. So we're happy about that. And people pulled over halfway in the road to put on their tire chains. That's awesome. feel bad for them because it's cold outside. I, I hate putting on tire chains because usually you have to put them on when it's miserable out. But people seem like they're in good spirits and I'm glad to see that. I just don't want to see anyone get hurt. That's why I always kind of talk smack when I see people pulled over in, in the lane to put on their tire chains, especially when we don't have many lanes of traffic in Big Bear. We have one on each side. And then for a short period of time, we have two. I really don't want to see you guys get hurt. I just want you guys to have a kick-ass time up here. But yeah, here comes some of the traffic coming into town. 
When we get to the dam, we're gonna hang a right. Hang a Roscoe. Isn't it amazing, you guys, how much more snow there is on this side of town always? Whenever we have snow, it accumulates faster over here. It's just, yeah. For the people who want to be in the snowiest part of town, you want to get a place to rent closer towards the Big Bear Dam. If you don't want much snow, which would surprise me, then you want to get closer to, like, the further parts of Big Bear City and Baldwin Lake. If you really don't want any snow, then definitely Baldwin Lake. I'll bet it's not even snowing over there right now. I'll bet you anything. so pretty though it is so pretty it doesn't take much to make this a beautiful thing poor old 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 dude he's got to do tile tile chains tile chain tire chains right now this turn can be kind of a pain in the butt sometimes we haven't slipped at all yet you guys so that's good and i'm really surprised because this is some really nasty slushy snow speak too soon though. All right, we're coming up to the dam. Then as I said, we're gonna be headed to the right once we get to the dam to head into Fonskin and North Shore. And then we're gonna hit some waves on the North Shore. Hit part of Waimea Big Bear. Yeah, brada. Shoots, brah. We're gonna hit one kind wave, brah. You know, you know the kind, man. Then we're gonna eat one pig. Have a luau. So look, there's a lot more snow on the side of the road here. This is kind of cool. Now we're getting kind of tossed around in the snow, but that's okay. Look at how much more snow is here at the, the, at the darn dam. At the damn dam. At the John Claude Van Dam. All right, here we go. We are off. Off like a prom dress. Off like a turd of hurdles. Okay, Mr. Windshield Wiper, take it easy with that, with that sound, that asthma sound. My windshield wipers have asthma. All right, we don't want to get too out of control, even though we love going faster. We love it, guys. We love it. So keep in mind how much snow you see over here. And then the further we get to the other side of town, how little snow you see. I mean, it's very little. There's like a quarter of an inch of snow. Obviously, at the Big Bear Dam right there, it looked like they had maybe up to an inch already accumulated. All right, here we go. Let's take the center of the road like we own the damn thing. Because we want to be as safe as possible. If we lose control, we want to be able to correct um, in any direction that we slide. Obviously, if you're coming around blind corners, guys, get back in your lane, clearly. Clearly, or maybe not so clearly. Oh, the lake looks beautiful. You can't see across. I love that. I love that. This is so special. This is so special, kind of like me. And guys, I have some really sad news for you guys, those of you who are still watching. So one of our friends on, on this channel, okay, he's a friend on this channel. His daughter contacted me through the channel, left a comment telling me that it's been a really rough start to the new year. Her, um, 
She said, this is Phil's daughter. And uh, he took his own life. And this was really, really hard for me last night. I love you guys so much. And I am just so sorry, Emily. I am so sorry. I believe her name is Emily. He took his own life. Suffered from a lot of PTSD. Um, and she was telling me how much he loved me and loved my heart. And, and that just makes things worse because I feel like I just wasn't that great of a friend. I would see him and talk to him for long periods of time and just, you know, I, I, I had so much admiration for you, Phil. I still do, man. I'm sorry you were in so much pain. I am so sorry. Everybody here loves you to death. I never want to hear anything happening to you guys. And that was the worst thing I could have possibly heard. And any people out there, um, I've, I've never been much of like a church going person. My wife really is. And I'm trying to be more of that type of a person just because, you know, most religious people that I see you guys, it's, it just seems like in most cases, all they're trying to do is just wake up each day and be better people, you know, help thy neighbor, um, in most cases. And I, and, and I see everything right with that. And so basically anyone out there who, who believes in prayer and whatnot, please pray for this family and pray for their just, just peace. But yeah, I love each and every single one of you more than you'll ever even understand. You guys have made me feel so good. You guys have saved my life because I've actually had thoughts of stuff like that in the past. I could never do it. But the fact that some of you are suffering like that, it, it breaks my heart more than you'll ever know. And anything that we can do together to love each other and to hold each other up on high esteem, please, we need to do whatever we can, you guys. Don't, please do not be afraid to talk about it. Get the help you need. Reach out to any of us. You can definitely reach out to me. And I'll do everything in my power to remind you how loved you are and how special you are. We all have our character defects. None of us is perfect, but none of us deserves to suffer that much. So Phil, I love you, man. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. As I said, guys, he's a friend from this channel. And we love you very much, Phil. We love your family very much. We are always here for you. I just hope that you're not in any more pain. I hope you're super peaceful right now. It just, the thought just devastates me. It's really, really tough for me. Because you guys have been so good to me. You guys have been so good to me. The love that is shown on, on this channel has taken away so much of my pain. Uh, I told myself I wasn't going to get emotional at all. But hey, that's what happens with me. I'm, I'm weak like that. <laughs> but whenever some... Oh my gosh. Like, just guys, please. Those of you who pray, please pray. Those of you who don't believe in prayer, please do, do whatever you do for this family. Please. I'm begging you guys. <laughs> oh, man. Life is so difficult and there are so many struggles involved in this life trying to find any joy and any peace in this life is not easy imagine the pain you have to be in to do that to yourself once again Phil I love you man and I am so sorry that I wasn't as good of a friend as I could have been to you bro that's the last thing I was expecting to hear last night. I never want to hear anything like that about you guys. <sighs> this is dedicated to you, Phil. 
this beautiful, peaceful drive through Fonskin now and just for the rest of the drive. This is all for you, Phil. I wish I wish there was more more that we could do. When I'm really down and out, I used to get upset when like people would say I'll pray for you and stuff like like that. I would I'd get frustrated with that. I'd be like, what is that gonna do? <laughs> But you know what? I do believe in the law of attraction. I do believe in quantum physics. There's a lot of proof out there that what we think about, we bring about. There's a lot of scientific evidence for that. And my life is a perfect example of that as well. This pa These past few years. So just please, Phil's family, please hang in there. And um, I apologize, you guys, but you guys are you guys are everything to me, and I will always honor you guys the best that I know how. I will always be here for you guys the best that I know how. Maybe if I can do like sixty seconds of silence, which you guys know is impossible for me, but once that clock hits 920, we're going to go to 921 without me saying a word, just driving and just thinking about Phil, you guys. Okay. So let's wait till it gets to 920. I just wanted you guys to see where we're at right now. so much I love you guys so very much we got to stick together here you guys we've always got to stick together and always have to be supportive of each other it is so important how much we, we actually really do support each other thank you thank you guys thank you guys for being a part of this thank you guys for loving Phil as much as I loved Phil. Knowing so many of you worries me because acts like just 
incidents will happen and I'm just not not ready to hear these things especially when you're such beautiful people so we're, we're going to change the subject right now um, I know you guys aren't feeling down but I know this isn't something too happy to talk about right now so just pray for the guy pray for his family thank you oops let's see here they call Casey again Hey, can you hear me, brother? Hang on, let me try again. And guys, we're getting another sleep mixture. Casey, are you there? Hang on, brother. Kate, Casey, are you there? Hang on a second. Hang on, guys. I'm I'm actually recording a video as we talk. I know you have not bad language, but just to give you guys a heads up. Um, <laughs> hi, guys. Hi. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How is my family doing today? How are my nephews doing today? Yeah, good. that's good. Sweet. Where are you guys? We're uh, we're in Redlands. We're coming up the 38 right now. Okay. We're still on the light, the boulevards part where the lights are. Okay. How's how's traffic looking down there? Does it look like it's uh, cuz up here it's very very insignificant so i think you guys down are... here down here it's very insignificant as well good good fantastic uh, i don't i think that i think the weather scared everybody off from traveling up today that's exactly what i was telling my people on here too that's what i think happened um and so all night long as i told you like i as soon as it starts snowing i will be out there recording and once about four in the morning came um, I had to set my alarm because I couldn't stay awake for each hour on the hour and it just started snowing dude and yeah I, I understand it just basically just started snowing yeah yeah so I think you guys are gonna get here during a good time since you'll be here in the next couple hours uh, for some nice heavy snowfall but uh, I'm my prediction changed to about two inches the, the weather forecast says up to four inches now throughout this whole storm but uh at least the kids will get something special it's it's gonna be beautiful we're we're, we're just heading up for a day in the messy snow we're going up to get snowed on and we we get what we get we understand that it's not gonna be like this crazy snowy wintry wonderland like like 10 feet of snow knee deep but <laughs> it, will be, it will be snowing on us you really are a very tall man if your 10 feet of snow is only knee deep bro i'm i'm really jealous <laughs> yeah just to, it only reaches the tip buddy <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh it's 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 really beautiful up here i know you're you're, you're coming up highway 38 that side of town uh i don't even know if it's snowing right now i'm on my way over there but our friend lives in Big Bear City. She says it's raining there, but I know it's I know it's snowing in like Fonskin and Moon Ridge. And I all just that. got through Fonskin right now, at the Big Bear Dam. Just like always, I've I've coined something called the Big Bear Snow Rule, which basically means like uh, one side of town will always, and it's a hundred percent of the storms I've recorded over three thousand videos in eight years gets more snow. So the Big Bear Dam looks amazing right now it's there's about an inch yeah. an inch of snow it's white as heck everywhere it's gorgeous um yeah and i'm super We're excited i'm super excited to see you guys um i am super excited to see you guys <laughs> it's been way too long and i'm so excited to see my little nephews i wish the people on this channel could see how freaking adorable your family is hang, hang on a second man yeah certainly Anyway. 
What'd you say? We lost you for a second. Um, I'm just, I just said that I wish the, the people on this channel could see how beautiful of a family you guys are and just how special you guys are to me. You guys are amazing, uh, amazing friends. And, uh, I was telling them that Casey is the only friend from when I was a little kid who I'm still gratefully in contact with. And it's just such a blessing. Um, just such good people. And. We're definitely looking forward to hosting you guys up here in Big Bear today. And uh, I just wish you guys a safe rest of your journey up here. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely certain on Highway 38, once you guys get close to Onyx Summit, you'll definitely be hitting snow. And it could be pretty heavy. So um, keep your fingers crossed that it is. And, I don't uh, think I've ever been in snowfall. Stop it. I can't remember a time. I think maybe when I was a kid, but I was watching it from outside. I am so excited. So I'm, I'm for you. really excited. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for you. And there's they're big fat snowflakes right now, also. So I think you guys will really enjoy yourself. I am I'm so excited nice. for you. Mentone. That's the name of the city I can remember. Mentone. Mentone. We're in Mentone. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. So, so you're on Lagonia. Lagonia in Mentone on your way up when I lived in Redlands at, at my brother's house for that one year I was always so excited every time I would be on Lagonia because I knew if you stay on Lagonia it turns into Big Bear Boulevard eventually <laughs> super right. cool man. super cool um, so I, I'm, I'm anticipating Casey just sent you yeah Casey just texted you some pictures of the boys ah oh, sweet that from the car. Oh, sweet. Are you guys excited to see Uncle Nick? Yeah. They, they were excited yeah. to see you. We're excited to see you. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to see my little nephews too. I am so excited to see you guys. We can't wait. We will keep you updated on our journey. Please do. Please do. And I hope you guys don't mind if I just uh, show the pictures of the uh, of the two most handsome little men in the world. Are you guys okay with that? Or not? Yeah, that's why I sent it to you. Oh, thank you. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, I use I use Casey's phone, so you'll see him when you when you hang up. Awesome. Okay. Well, guys, please right. please please promise me you'll get here in one piece and uh, enjoy the beautiful ride. Oh yeah, we're, we're driving with the Holy Ghost. We're good. Awesome, 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 <laughs> awesome. God bless you. you guys so much. I love I you love guys you. so much. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I love you guys. All right, be safe. All right, you guys do the same, okay? Okay. All right, we'll, we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sorry about that, but like, just special people. Here's one of them, that's Luca. That is my friend's firstborn. Oh my God, look at how cute these boys are. Oh my gosh, they are so sweet. They are so sweet. This one looks just like Casey. It's just crazy to me, so crazy. You guys, I am a very lucky man. I am a very lucky man. I know we're doing a little bit longer of a drive than I anticipated, but we're gonna do the whole valley so I can show you guys the Big Bear Snow Rule. So here we go, we're gonna go through Baldwin and everything. Everything, man. Everything will be all right. Baby, don't worry about a thing. Worry about a thing. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Woke up this morning Out to the rising snow All my YouTube friends Are on my side now Singing sweet songs I love you guys. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you guys. And look, the further we go to this side of town, the, no, the little less snow there is. This is a disappointment, as always. But as I said, this is what I've coined as the Big Bear Snow Rule. I created that that term, not that it's it's it, it's special, but I created that maybe my first year here. Because every video I did, I was driving all the way to the other side of town like this um, to record just to, just to see what the snow was like over here. And as you can see, we are 
getting some very light snow mixed in with rain now. And there is not one bit of snow on the road. Not one. Not the one bit. Not the one bit. And when we get to Baldwin, of course, there's not going to be anything. <coughs> As I said, guys, how crazy is that? The Big Bear Snow Rule. It's the, it's the same elevation over here as it is at the Big Bear Dam. It's just the closer we get to this side of the mountain range, this is the desert side of the mountain range. This, if you go down the mountain over here, you're you're in the in the gnarly desert. And so, what happens is these storms, as they're coming through this mountain range, a lot of them get really broken up by the time they get just to Big Bear. But then once they start to get about this far out and starting to head over the mountain into the desert, that really dry desert air rips these storms apart. If you go to the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, to the uh, maps type thing and look at the radar, you'll see that just past this side of town, it's like the storms just completely die they'll come here heavy to this point but then they'll just die wow I, I can't believe there's literally nothing over here literally nothing but that's okay and look you can uh, see blue skies right on this side of the mountain that's where the storms just 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 don't stand a chance this side of town, you guys, when we get like six inches of snow over here, you know it was a massive snowstorm, a strong storm. Because as I said, these storms have to push through some really, really dry air back here. And they usually don't make it, sadly. But this is Baldwin Lake right here, guys. It looks like if we get enough rain, we'll have a lake out here for a little bit. It's really cool, every year, we get about two or three weeks where this is looking like a humongous lake over here. And it's so awesome, it is so awesome. The ground is really hard so the water sticks around for a while. I remember, I think it was my first year, maybe my second year, we had like a month of a big lake out here because we got a couple feet of snow in rapid succession. Succession, oh my gosh, I can't speak. Don't speak, I know what you're saying. So please stop explaining. Don't tell me because you're annoying and it hurts. Don't speak. No. So we are getting just snow over here. They're very tiny snowflakes, but it's not raining at all. My friend who you guys were just listening to said that he talked to his other friends up here from his church and they live in Big Bear City which we will be driving through and it was raining in Big Bear City and now I think I spoke too soon but I think we're getting a little bit of, of rain mixed in now again but once again the cool thing is is once we get back to the other side of town there will be snow it's so cool to, it's really cool to see it like this once again, this is the Big Bear Snow Rule. It'll, it's like this every single storm. I can't tell you guys how many storms I've recorded up here where um, it's blue skies over here and dumping at the dam. Dumping like a chumping at the John Claude Van Dam. All right, so if we stay straight here instead of turn right, right here, we will start heading down the mountain into Lucerne Valley. So we are not gonna do that. We're turning right here to head into Baldwin Lake. And then we're gonna come out on Highway 38. Well, we're gonna cross Highway 38. Basically, this road right here turns into Big Bear Boulevard. At this point, it's called Baldwin Lake Road. And then once we get closer to Highway 38, it changes its name to Shea Road. And then yeah, we'll just be crossing uh, Highway 38 and staying on Big Bear Boulevard. 
Very cool now, very cool. I'm gonna roll down the window to cool down this phone a little bit. We are kind of going a little bit too fast right here. Hey, there's a patch of snow right there, boom. Boom, shaka laka, boom, there's another one, boom. So yes, you guys, as you guys saw, it says four inches of snow in the next 48 hours from this point on. Um, I'm predicting two, if we even get that. I think the only possibility we have for that is if this temperature continues to drop. The colder the air is, you guys, the more moisture we can squeeze out of the atmosphere. For instance, out here, typically one inch of rain will accumulate to about one foot of snow. Now, if I still lived in Colorado, because of how extremely dry it can get out there, one inch of rain out there can, can bring over two feet of snow. It's pretty interesting how that works, isn't it guys? And now we are getting rain. This is strictly this is nothing. Well, there's a couple snowflakes involved, but this is basically rain. This is basically rain. And it's raining so good. Don't have a cow, man. Don't have a cow, bro. All right, hang on a second. We need to stop the video and start it again. So yeah, this is the furthest point of the valley, you guys, on one end. We were just at the complete opposite side, which is the Big Bear Dam. We're running a little low on fuelie. Fuelie for the Huey. I wish you guys knew, or like, could comprehend how much gas I use for these videos. It is huge. The amount of gas. It is humongous. But I'll tell you what, I, I never look at it like, oh my gosh, I'm spending so much money because I love doing this. It makes me really happy. So it ain't no thing but a chicken wing, yo. kind of averaging about 35 40 miles an hour right here that's what the speed limit is um, just like down the mountain you guys when when you're up here regarding speed limits because when we do have weather like this you want to throw the speed limits out the window you just want to drive whatever's safest for the conditions currently and I know you guys know this but as I said your guys' safety means everything to me I have so much love for you guys, and it is raining good over here. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. This video is going to take a long time to upload because it's going to be a really long video, but that's okay. I kind of was considering going up into Sugarloaf and, and taking Maple down, but I think that would be really dangerous right now. We don't want to be on one of those YouTube videos where people are failing driving in the winter time. That would not be great at all. Okay, now we're starting to get a little snow mixed back in. Just super beautiful. So let me show you guys a sledding spot over here on Shea, on Shea Road here. It's on the left-hand side coming up. It's a free spot to go sledding when we have lots of snow. You can make a couple spots. Here's here here here's one right here that you could make, but there's a much better one. I think this is it right here. No, that's not it. That's someone's driveway. So it's definitely not it, guys. Don't 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 be sledding in someone's driveway. If it was my driveway, I would I would let you guys for sure. I would be so happy to have you guys sledding there. Just just to see the children smile. I mean that's that's what it's all about. 
That is what it's all about. Do the hokey pokey and turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. And here we go, here's this sledding area. It's kind of hard to miss because it's got a huge little parking spot. Well, I mean, it's not a technical parking spot, but right there, that whole area. And when we get more snow, it is fun. The only thing you gotta be cautious about on that little sledding area is if the kids are going too fast, they'll slide right into the street. So that's uh, that's never a good thing. That's why I always send you guys up by Bear Mountain. There's a spot that I've always sent my friends and it's up by Bear Mountain. At the very top where 2N10 begins. Where 2N10 begins and the road ends. Okay, now we're getting nothing but snow again. <laughs> it's so crazy, guys. This is so nutty. And this part of town is where you'll see a lot of donkeys, a lot of jackasses up here. Um, I'm talking about the real ones, not people acting weird, but the real donkeys. And they are so beautiful. I think I've told you guys the story a few times, but one of my first couple years up here, I never knew that we had wild donkeys up here. And uh, when I was in this neighborhood one time, like right about here, I saw like three or four of these beautiful donkeys look like the most beautiful horses. They look perfectly groomed and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, someone lost their donkeys. They must have escaped their property. So I called, called the police telling them that I'm really, really worried that like someone lost their like really expensive donkeys. And um, the police didn't bother telling me that they're wild up here. Um, they just asked me wh where I was at and they were going to send a unit out to take a look and uh, I tried to stay with the donkeys for as long as I could But then when I was talking about it on the next video, I had a lot of you guys laughing at me <laughs> like completely breaking up laughing at me um, telling me that we have wild burrows up here and That those belong to nobody. Those are big bear burrows so I found that to be quite amusing that I freaked out and was so sad and worried about some family losing their donkeys. Um, and then I did a little more research on why they're here. So apparently during our gold rush up here, they were used to uh, carry a lot of heavy equipment and stuff like that. So, and they just never took them off the mountain once they moved off, once the folks moved off the mountain. Here's Highway 38, you guys. Here we go, Highway 38, here we freaking go. Now we're on Big Bear Boulevard. About to pass Maple Lane, which is what goes up into Sugarloaf. And we're getting another mixture. Now it's not just all snow again. I'm telling you guys, it's so interesting. And the temperature has stayed the same. It stayed 33 degrees. At least we have something consistent going on up here. And that's where we're at now. I should have showed you guys when we were way over there. That's okay. That is okay. Now it's all snow again. Big fat snowflakes coming back down. Once again, just keep your eyes, just notice what town looks like the further we get this direction. It's gonna get wider and wider the further we go this this way. And this person in front of this person turned right without even looking at traffic. I'm telling you guys, like there's there's some really bad drivers up here. Some really bad drivers. There's a good example of one right there. You don't want to be impatient up here you guys as i said i'd never want to hear about anything happening to you guys and that news that i got last night that was the most devastating thing ever i just want you guys to be okay getting a little fender bender is not something that's going to make your trip more fun i just want you to stay safe Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. 
entire city. This is the route that a lot of you will be taking if you're coming up Highway 38. This is how you'll be getting into the, to the resort areas. So, so far, so good. Then we're coming up to one of my favorite shops in Big Bear called Big Bear Smoke and Vape. I always tell you guys the owner is such, a, such an amazing man. He made me feel so comfortable in this town and so welcomed when a lot of the locals didn't. So I'm super, super grateful for him. His store is right up here, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. He has two of them, one in Big Bear Lake and one in, in Big Bear City. It's basically the whole bottom level here. His name is Sahil. If you guys go in there and tell him that I refer to you, he will take care of you. He told me he would, and I think that's really, really awesome because he doesn't have to do that. I know everything's so expensive up here, especially during the snow, you guys, but I'll tell you what. Um, it contributes to our e economy, and it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. We could really use it. So maybe the attitude that should be taken instead of looking like, looking at it like we're being price gouged, is just look at it like we're, we're doing good for our little vacation community up here. Because this is your vacation home, guys. I always try to remind you guys, this is no more my area than it is yours. Just because I live here, all that means is that I'm very lucky. I'm very fortunate but that doesn't mean that this is any more mine than it is yours. And so many of you do so many beautiful things. Like I've heard lots of you comment about um, how you'll pick up trash around here. And I'm, I, you guys have no idea how beautiful that is. That, that makes me feel so good. We have so many amazing, amazing human beings on this channel. And I really do love each and every single one of you with all my heart. And I am always here for you guys. When we, and as I said, when we have storms like, like this, I'm uh, always like in the middle of the night, on the hour, every hour, recording or setting my alarm just to make sure that I don't miss any snow for you guys. So I lose a lot of sleep and then my anticipation for these storms helps me lose more sleep because I get so excited about it. Come on. Seasoned Citizen Thrift Store. Very cool. I, I can't believe since I've lived up here, I haven't had one sip of alcohol. June 23rd, 2013 was the last drink I've ever had. And that's after, that was my ninth rehab center, you guys, for drugs and alcohol. And on top of that, I've stayed at two sober living houses. So I'm very lucky to be alive. And you know what, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. For those of you who have been in, in, like in and out of Alcoholics Anonymous for a long time, the promises, even though I haven't been to one meeting in this nine and a half years, the promises are very, very, very real. Um, basically, my life has changed for the best that it's ever been since I've been sober from the alcohol. So, um, if any of you ever ever need to chat about that, if any of you sh struggle with that, trust me, I was what the Big Book of Alcoholics Anonymous called the hopeless variety. And I am, once again, always here for you guys. Here is the sweating area for the kids. It's called Big Bear Snow Play. There's no one there right now, but it's gonna open up shortly. Oh, it's so great. It is so great. And once again, the further we go this direction, the heavier the snow is going to get. And the more white we will start seeing. This is the transition part from Big Bear City into Big Bear Lake. So basically, once we get over here to uh, Stanfield Cutoff, then once you cross Stanfield Cutoff and Starvation Flats right here, you are in Big Bear Lake. Not technically, because we're not swimming, but you are in Big Bear Lake. Wow, we're going a little 
little too fast here. What am I doing? I'm just excited. I'm just really excited and so excited that I might crash and I don't want to do that. So are we gonna continue? I think we'll continue this drive through Moon Ridge a little bit. We might even go into Upper Moon Ridge. It's gonna be dangerous, but I want to see how much snow is already up there. During this particular storm, the Upper Moon Ridge part, if everything worked out or does still work out the way it was supposed to, could have another six inches more than just right down here. Yay, this guy got a new cross track. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. I love seeing people get brand new cars. That Jeep's brand new also. That white Jeep right there. That's a beautiful looking Jeep, huh guys? What y'all think? What y'all, what y'all, what y'all think? What y'all think, think? Okay, we're getting another rain mixture. This is crazy how often it's changing right now. And straight ahead, you can see Snow Summit barely. Barely. Barely, my barley. I gotta crack the window a little bit to get the phone to cool down because the phone. So we're gonna turn left here on Moon Ridge Way. There's Moon Ridge Road, you guys, and then there's Moon Ridge Way, which is a little tiny little little shortcut. So you don't have to wait at the stoplight up here, like all like a lot of people are. You just turn left here. And here's my favorite restaurant in town. It's called Captain's Anchorage. If you guys like prime rib, you're gonna love that place. It just got so dark outside. Did you guys feel that? It just got really dark out there. So as I told you guys with the Big Bear Snow Rule, the Big Bear Dam area, Boulder Bay, Papoose Bay, those, those areas get the most snow in the valley. Um, anytime you get closer to the mountains themselves, you're gonna get more snow as well, which is what is happening right now. We are getting closer to the mountain. Um, I could take you guys on a shortcut right here so we don't have to go through the roundabout. You know what? We are going to do that. Turn right here on Elm Street, okay? And it says no ski area access, local traffic only. Well, I'm local and a bit loco. So we're going to take this until, it's at the, until we hit the very end and it swings around to the left. And the street is called Willow. And you'll take that to Clubview Drive. And then you'll turn right on Clubview Drive and stay on that until you hit Bear Mountain. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully we don't hit too much traffic. And as you can see, the closer we get to the mountain itself, the more snow. This is just, oh my gosh, guys, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. Yeah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Let me, uh, they are so adorable, bro. <laughs> you guys are very lucky to have such adorable children and so well behaved. And I'm very lucky that I still have you in my life, my friend. I hope the drive is going good for you guys. I just did a complete Big Bear Valley tour from the Big Bear Dam all the way to the end of Baldwin Lake and now I'm driving in Moon Ridge.
Okay, so here we are. We're coming up on Clubview Drive. And we're gonna hang a Roscoe. Hopefully we beat any, nope, we're not gonna beat this traffic right here, unfortunately, but we tried. It's just one truck and they're flying, so we're good. Woo, look at the golf course. Look at how beautiful that is right there. Oh, wow. Oh, wowie, 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 wowie. Now for another free sledding area, this is the favorite spot of mine to send you guys. Stay on club view right here and do not divert in any direction until you get to the very top and it dead ends. It's maybe about three quarters of a mile from here. Maybe, maybe not even that far. But you wanna stay on this until it ends. You'll be passing Bear Mountain on the left-hand side. We're not gonna go all the way up to the top. We're gonna to turn at on Gold Mine, which is the street that uh, you enter the parking lots for Bear Mountain and the golf course. Okay, here we go, here's Bear. Just beautiful. And even though we've climbed in elevation, we're still at 33 degrees. And it's 10 a.m. on the Dizot. Hopefully this video doesn't take too long to upload, but I know it will, especially because it's in 4K. But I'm telling you what, you guys are so worth it. I am so, so grateful to be able to do this for you guys. So we're going to turn left here on Goldmine. If you want to go sledding, go straight. Do not divert off this road at all. Oh, it's so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. I miss working here so much. I had so much fun, guys. I was a cook here, and I, I was lucky enough to where they put me on the main barbecue outside. So I got to deal with so many people every day. It was so cool. All right, let's see. Let's, let's get, get another view of Bear Mountain over here. So gold mine turns back into Moon Ridge Road. I know some of our streets up here are a bit confusing, you guys, but it is what it is. You guys are smart enough to figure it out. I'm the one who struggles a bit sometimes. That's why it's good to let me do all this crazy stuff out here and let me get lost, let me spin out, let me do all that stuff so you guys don't have to. Hopefully my example will show you guys what to do and what not to do. It is so pretty up here. So remember how we were just in Baldwin Lake and there's no snow? Look at this, it's just, I know it's not a huge amount of snow, but it's a significant difference. So yeah, 33 degrees guys, 33 degrees. And I think I missed a phone call here. Yo, I'll be home in 10 minutes. If you want to come by, you're more than welcome to. And it's good to hear from you, my bro. Actually, I'll be home in 15 minutes. That must be so nice. And especially as you get up to the top of Highway 38, being the only ones on the road, it's gonna be so beautiful. I am so happy for you guys. 
So our friend who we spoke to, he said, uh, well, you guys know that he's on Highway 38. They, he said he's the only car on the road. That makes me happy to hear. So one way to avoid the roundabouts guys up here is we're just going to take the back road. I think this is called Cougar. Uh, I think it's called Cougar and we take this all the way to Elm Street. Showing you guys another little shortcut because sometimes that roundabout's going to be packed. But I don't think today it will be. I just want to show you guys everything possible to save you guys time. Save my friends here time. We are in Lower Moon Ridge, you guys. This is where I live, in the lower part of Moonridge. So we're almost done with this drive. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a long one, but you got to do the whole valley tour with me. I think that's really neat. Any cars coming? Nope, no cars coming either way. Now we're gonna turn left on Elm Street. Every town has an Elm Street. <laughs> can't wait to get this video uploaded and then if it starts to pick up a little bit more later you guys of course I'll be out there recording again I mean I'll for sure be doing another video today no question about that so anyway guys thanks again it's January uh, 5th I think it was 2023 um, thank you guys again for everything thank you guys for being here in my life thank you guys for cruising with me thanks for letting me annoy you and uh, just Lots of love to you guys. And thank you guys for everything. I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy the snow in Big Bear, California, folks. Peace out.